So Senator Schumer, to start off with you, you've long been adamant about ending federal prohibition on marijuana. And given states' strides, and at least two dozen states that have legalized it, including voters in Ohio, why do you think some legislators still aren't on board for this? Well, you know what I'd say, Marquise, they haven't caught up to the times. I mean, 15 years ago, before marijuana was legalized anywhere, People said, oh, there'll be a lot more crime. Oh, there'll be much more addiction and this and that. And guess what? None of that happened. State by state legalized and the scare tactics of those who were opposed to legalizing marijuana sort of didn't meet the facts in these states. But I, you still have a lot of legislators who are still back in that world. They're worried their constituents, particularly the older ones, are back in that world. And so they're reluctant to go forward. But we are making progress. You know, the safe, the Safer Plus banking bill, uh, which also includes expungement, which is so important. Um, we're getting close. And we need your viewers to call their senators and say, vote for the Safer Banking Bill. It's bipartisan, has support in the House. We could make it law soon if we get those three, three four more votes. And now turning to you, right? 16 years in the NBA, 12 years in this marijuana business. And you're one of the biggest black owned business owners in an industry that's less than 2% black. So from your perspective, how will this legislation actually help minority entrepreneurs achieve equity in the space? Because that's what a lot of people really desire. Because it'll give us a true opportunity, you know, to actually, uh, you know, take advantage of the equitable opportunity. You know, when I first got in the space, obviously, you know, it was all about just changing the stigma first, right? It was just getting people to understand that cannabis was not at this ugly monster that everybody portrayed it to be, right? So it's a beautiful situation or, or, or a moment where we're at with this plant. But, you know, we do need, you know, some help from legislators and different things like that to move this thing forward because there's been a lot of blood, sweat, and tears to get us to this point. And it's really sad to see a lot of the legacy people fall by the wayside because of some of these barriers. You know, 85% of all drug arrests was, you know, in, in black communities were cannabis related. You know, it's crazy. So it, we definitely have to have a seat at the table. And that's something I'm definitely fighting for every day. Our bill tries to rectify some of these injustices, but so much was taken out of minority communities in terms of human resources and in terms of money and everything else when cannabis was overcriminalized. So we put provisions in this bill that favors small minority businesses over the big ones. I'm curious, Senator, do you see marijuana, you know, it be, it's going from this big monster to now more normalized. Do you see it being normalized as something almost like cigarettes? Well, I don't know if it would be quite like that. I'm not, you know, not an expert on those kind of things, but certainly if it's decriminalized, people can make a decision to use it without worrying about the long arm of the law coming down on them. And that makes a great deal of sense. We do that for cigarettes. We do that for alcohol. We do that for lots of other things. It's just antiquated now that we don't do it for marijuana. And not to be all in your business, but to be in your business just a little bit. Have you ever indulged yourself? Is this something that you were taking in? You know, I never have because when I was in college, it was illegal. I didn't want to, but I believe in, you know, I believe in it. I believe as strongly as anybody else, and I didn't make that choice, but anyone who wants to make that choice should without the criminal law hanging over their heads. Then the first time you tried, I would make sure it's Viola for sure. <laughs> Al, good to talk to you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Great to be here.